Hi everybody. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step a few simple steps to draw your own turkey. So this turkey is going to start out kind of like you used to do a hand turkey when you were little, but then we're going to add a few more steps. So I'm going to take this one away and all you're going to need for this whole project, a pencil and some crayons. That's it. So my hand takes up a lot of this page, but I'm gonna show you with my hand anyways. And you can follow along with me or you can even watch my direction and then go back and just do it on your own. So I'm gonna put my hand kind of close to the center and trace around all of my fingers. So you can do this yourself or if you need a grown up to help you trace your hand, you can do it that way. And just kind of connect that bottom. So I'm drawing really lightly and you'll be able to see just a little bit better here in a second. So once I have drawn that, I'm gonna rotate my hand just a little bit, and I'm gonna draw two additional fingers there, and then just connect those. So I'm gonna choose a black crayon to outline my shape here. If you wanna choose another color, that is perfectly okay. I'm going to go ahead and start to outline this so that you for sure can see all of the shapes that I've got here. So I kind of like the idea of adding an additional two fingers. It just gives your turkey a little bit more fullness and a few more shapes to color in. If you want to keep it like a regular hand turkey, you can still do that and follow the rest of the steps that we're going to do. But I kind of like having it, having a little bit more area to color in. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw kind of a curved line that connects the bottom of each finger or feather, as we'll call them. And then I'm going to do the same thing up at the top and just dividing up our feather a little bit. so that you have some different spaces to color a little bit differently. And then, of course, we want a wing. I'm gonna draw just kind of like, I would call this like a fluffy cloud shape, just an open on one side where it's attached to your turkey's body, and then the other side. Now, I imagine feathers on a turkey being like fanned out, and there's kind of some bands of different colors. So to create one of those bands, I'm gonna draw a line along here that mimics this line. So I'm going to just leave a little bit of space. And again, this doesn't have to be just like mine. You follow along knowing that you are always the artist and should make yours exactly how you want it to be. I'm even going to make another band just like that. And then we don't want to forget a triangle for a beak and then I'm gonna draw two little teardrop shapes under the beak for the red thing that hangs down under the turkey which I guess I need to go look up when this video is over I'm not exactly sure what those are called and then after I do that I'm gonna add the eye I'm gonna make just a simple circle and be sure to leave a little white part within your black circle so that your turkey looks like it's alive it has to have a little bit of sparkle Okay, so my turkey took up a lot of the paper because my hands are big, my fingers are longer than yours. But we're gonna draw two sets of two lines under your turkey. Those are your legs. And then under that, just some little zigzag lines that go from one line to the other. Okay, so this is really your step-by-step -step turkey drawing. Before you go on to the next step, I want you to take a few minutes and take your crayon and just really thicken up those lines. I love using crayon to be like really bold and bright. These outlines are a great place for that. So whether you're using black or another color, go in and just thicken those lines up so that you've got a really nice bold set of lines here before we're ready to go on to the next step. 
Okay, so you've got your turkey drawing. It's totally done. You can still kind of see that your handprint is hidden in there somewhere, but we've added some extra details. Now I want you to think about filling each little feather, each of these center areas, with a different quality of line. So think about varying the thickness of line, whether it's thick or fat. Is it curvy? Is it straight? Um, you could use dashed and dotted lines. Different kinds of lines fill up each one of these areas. So for now, whatever crown you picked to begin with is a great crown to continue with. And I want you just to play around here with some different lines that might fill up each feather. Okay, so you've filled up this area up here, your feathers with different kinds of lines. Now it's time to add some color to your turkey. So my turkey that I did here, I used only crayons. And one thing I love about using crayons is starting with kind of a nice light layer of color and then building up layer after layer. So I'm gonna show you here what I mean by that. So when I color with crayons, one thing I like to do is just, I'm just coloring very lightly, kind of like all back and forth, not every direction. And then once I get this whole area colored in, I'm gonna go back with maybe another color or a different value of this same brown created by adding more layers. But the first layer is just a nice smooth layer. So I'm using crayons, but you could absolutely use colored pencils. You could use markers, which would not be this layering technique, but it would also add a nice bunch of color. Okay, so I've got kind of this first layer here. And I can always start to color more lightly where I want to blend another color in. But I like to go around the outside and kind of thicken up those lines by pressing a little bit heavier, depositing a little bit more of the crayon. Kind of blends in with that black outline a little bit, which is totally okay. It carries some of that over into the brown. And then just blend that out a little bit so that you have some lighter areas and some darker areas within any space. Now, if you like coloring just solid so everything is exactly, you know, like a nice even color, that's okay too. This is just a different technique to try. Another thing to notice is when I first colored, all of my lines went one way. When I go over that and build up my layers a little bit, I might switch the direction of my lines that I'm coloring. And it kind of gets rid of some of those lines, those distinct lines, and makes an interesting texture within your crayon coloring. Like you meant those lines to be there. They're part of your artwork. Okay, so go ahead, continue on filling in all of the different shapes that you drew, all of the different lines, adding color to be as realistic or as fantastic as you want it. Remember, you're the artist. Your turkey doesn't necessarily have to be colors that a turkey might be in nature. Maybe your turkey is all warm colors or all, all cool colors or fluorescent colors, whatever you like for your turkey to be. It does not have to be like mine or like a real turkey. That's the beauty of being the artist. You get to decide. So go ahead and color here. Take your time. If you need to take a break and come back to it, you can always do that, of course. I hope you enjoyed making this turkey with me. I can't wait to see what you make.